What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kevo back again with another video. I ain't gonna lie, I'm excited for this video, man. You already know Jaguar be exposing the truth on these niggas, you feel me? And she cool, and she keeping her honey, and she feel like, you know what I'm saying? She a nice lady, you feel me? But this is part two of the interview, so y'all ready for this, man? Let's go. And real quick, I, I, I have to go back uh, to the raid real quick with Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, his sons were there and he was not there at the house's own. Yeah. And he was that quiet. That was the worst part of that. Yeah, to see his sons being How hacked. How do you force your kids to do your perp walk? Yeah. Hey. That, was the, that was the worst part. And all I could think about was Kim and Misa. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro. The girls. Just, her son. He left their son yeah. to be walked out backwards Dang. on camera for the world to see. Thank God Kimura got the girls. Yeah. Misa's son. Misa and Wolf's son. <laughs> Man. And Quincy's missing. Quincy's missing. Oh. And lastly, after he was questioned by the feds, after I wouldn't be surprised if he was in witness protection right now, uh, which means his father ain't never going to see him. again. Have we seen the last or is this just the beginning of that saga? It's just getting started, Dang. which is why I think people are so uncomfortable about me being in this position right now because of my press pass. And because I'm going to be in the courtroom for the Keefe D trial. If we get to the bottom of Tupac's. Mm -hmm. When that is finally revealed. 15 other will be revealed with it. Dang. And you will find that. They were all committed by the same two people, mm. father and son. What? Were you surprised by KPD's arrest for Tupac? No. Uh. I'm just surprised that he hasn't given it up yet. I'm surprised that he hasn't gone to the feds yet because he just got stabbed in jail. Yes, he did. Mm. He's been beaten three times. Mm. And I'm going to say it for a fact. I know you the one pulling the strings. Reggie Wright Jr. Stop putting your dirty work on other people. You know exactly what the you are. And so help me God if you don't keep my man by your mouth. No, shoot. Mm. Mm. With um, the last time you were on the couch, you had mentioned, and it's crazy that you say these things, you talk about bad boy. You speak yeah. on Heavy D, you speak on I'll Be Sure. Yeah. And you say, like, look who's standing. And now I'll Be Sure is now, he's being cryptic. Not too cryptic, but he's now. He's very cryptic. He's very cryptic. But, but he's, speaking he's speaking louder than he's ever spoken before. Ever. And the reason why he's cryptic is for the sake of his son. Mm. Imagine having an enemy that has a position of influence in your child's life and knowing that that person sends you notes and messages every now and then, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, that boy is. Wow. Allegedly. Imagine that. Imagine that your baby mama is telling you that if you don't do what he wants you to do. He's going to be a child. And you know he's capable of it. Allegedly. Story in the Bible. Two women had two babies. Mm -hmm. One woman went to sleep, rolled over on her baby. baby. The other woman's baby was just fine. The woman whose baby, she got up, she went and stole the baby from her, her roommate. Then they fought over who the mother was. They went before the king, King Solomon. He heard both sides of the story and said, give me a knife. 
Give me a sword. He got the sword and he was like, I'm going to cut the baby in half and each of you can have a piece and then we'll be done with it. Wow. It was the real mother that said, don't harm that baby. She can have him. Wow. Why is nobody willing to accept as monstrous as people are finding out that Diddy is now that he wouldn't be willing to split Quincy in half? Because he would. Yeah, he said some years ago, like during a TV show, that he would like harm his own mother to get what he wanted, or some something along those lines. So, well, I don't blame him for wanting to harm that. She's his victimizer and his pimp. She his first pimp. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, it, you know your Bible story. I have to just sidetrack real quick and ask you this question, yeah. uh, or get your thoughts on it. <laughs> Uh, there's a man who uh, recently married conjoined twins mm. and uh, he's only marrying one of them while the other is attached uh, by the hip yeah, and they both share the same bottom parts. I'm going to watch a video mm. on that. Um, that. That'd be entertaining. Is there anything that you feel <coughs> wrong with that? If I remember. Freaky or indifferent? I mean, Comment down below if you want to see. Question is, What's wrong with the bitch down with it? <laughs> it does raise questions. Like you forcing your sister to get raped so you can it, get off. It, well, the sister says she has to put on headphones to kind of zone out. Yeah, but out. she's still feeling it. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is still happening. You forcing your sister to get raped. Yeah. She don't want that nigga. <laughs> you, you want that nigga. Uh. That's what I hear. <laughs> As a selfish bitch. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> right. She's sitting over there with her headphones on. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Who, what kind of wants to be under those kind of conditions? <laughs> I'm only in love with the right side of you. The left side. I don't know who that bitch. She can get this too. Right. Like, that's how this shit sounds. Crazy. <laughs> wow. uh, I don't know if my mind am I sounding crazy. No, you're right. You're making some points. Valid points. Everybody selfish except for the bitch with the headphones. Man. The thing that's tripping me out is why don't you grab like? Are you in control of any part of the body? Like you need to take a free head and start beating the shit out of them. Every time they get the, I bet you he don't want it no more then. Like he give you a little skillet, and as soon as they get the fuck, hey, hey, info, bitch, get a pay. Like I don't. La 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 la. We hope she finds a man herself. We hope she finds a man herself. I so can. Wild in this world, yo. It's funny you open up uh, Beyonce's internet; it just gets weird. Um, Beyonce's internet—that's nah, what we're calling that it. That belongs to the <laughs> devil. Unless Dang. you're calling that the devil, she ain't number the employee. Oh, oh! A half of which dumbass bitch. Talking about Beyonce. So, you know, it, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't just... nobody want to accept that that bitch bitch? I think she's she went and killed the girl cats. Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay. A girl went to court mm. and charged her with extreme witchcraft. Mm. Uh. She she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and she, while she was asleep. No world? snacking on his bitch. Killing people cats. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work, too. Mm. Which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician. And she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music. Mm. Handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington. Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington. 
who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. Dang. Guess you didn't know your daughter well enough because she just started f***ing all the girls. Dang. Impulse control issues? I don't know. She wrote it like that? What makes you so vocal? Like, I'm tired. See, so just. I like, didn't want to skip to the end. Yeah, all this shit is fucked up. All you is is weird. Go to fuck the jail and let's move on and let Generation Z make their own problems, make their own choices. These kids are living the consequences of what Gen X did and right. don't even know why they're doing it because everyone's lying. Right. So, so <laughs> Takeoff's death wasn't <coughs> nothing but a corporate hostile takeover using his life as the god. For, oh my god. What? Yeah. RP takeoff. <sighs> that boy died so they could cash in a motherfucking insurance policy and to cover up the fact that Rock Nation was ripping Megan away what? from 300. I guess nobody's paying attention to the fact that complete control of Megan the Stallion's career was taken over right after Takeoff died mm. and the Prince family were forced to leverage mm. and let her go, even though they did not want to. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Houston politics. <laughs> let me ask you because. Uh, and I'm not saying allegedly. I'm saying, Sean Carter, you're a piece of shit. Taking Pimp C wasn't bad enough. You just want to go down there and you want to just remove all of the balls from every real gangster in Houston. Why the fuck did that house burn up? Who the fuck goes to their childhood house for a visit and the shit goes up in flames? That was very weird. The next day, and, and within the, a week? And no, the next day. The next day. And, and still, no real investigation on how the house just went up in flames. Mm. <sighs> she know a lot, bro. That's Man. crazy. I guess they paid y'all off. She like they paid y'all off for that Astral World. Uh, the Astral World thing, Travis Scott. So. Let me ask you. Texas um, politics. Yeah, Texas politics, man. This is, <sighs> yeah, this is. Can you drive into Houston yeah. and old fucking Sam Houston sitting there? You can hear him talking. Got, every time I drive past Sam Houston on 45, you know what I hear when I see him? That's all I hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the warden of the South. Yeah. Sitting there looking down on everybody. Yeah. Yeah. They made a big deal over Robin E. Lee. Imagine what they would do if you tried to take down old Sam Houston. Come on now. It'd be a problem. It'd be, it'd be carnage. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a problem. <laughs> Sam Houston there, you gonna stay there. So Jack, another- Every time I drive past, that's all I hear. Just Nick. <laughs> Now, another thing that, of course, you spoke on last time was, and at the time it happened, uh, was a slap by Will Smith to Chris Rock. We spoke uh -huh. on it. But since then, uh -huh. uh, Jada Pinkett has written a book mm -hmm. where she reveals that multiple times she tried to commit suicide. Yeah. Not hey. saying exactly what the reason was. I don't but know why she keeps trying. She just, just get it done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. What the heck? Don't be bad at everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. You was an all right actress. You a terrible wife. You a bad mother. He's mm. a it, it, who knew that your husband was doing things to boys and did stuff to your son, and you ain't do shit about it. Malau told me everything. Mm. Uh, they're 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 good friend who Malau told me. <laughs> Jada. He told me that you knew Will was f***ing your child. What? Yes, he oh did. 
Mm. Wonder why he left that out of his Tasha K interview. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, in that interview, he, he said a lot. He said a lot. He said everything but the thing that was important. That he know that Will Smith raped Jaden. He raped Bashir and he raped Neek Mills. And you know it, Bilal. What? Now I'm getting no f how far in the Meek desert Mills. you run. You'll go from a Philly nigga to a sand, but they'll still get you. He's Philly, though, Jay. It's Philly. You know, <laughs> he meek milk. As far as I'm concerned, he meek milk. I ain't calling him milk no more. That's milk. That's meek milk. Mm. Add it to the honeycomb. You got a you got a meal. So you believe the Dwayne Martin story that that could have happened? Of course, happened. everybody know that. Shit. Everybody knew they was just ain't nobody know Dwayne was folding him over like that, taking him to Pantown. And all these black is running around marrying these sitting there convincing other women to go chase a fag. Go get you. Yeah. Look at my it isn't he? Can you imagine if he's been told the truth about their relationships? I want you to meet my husband. He a fag. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to come over? Fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make cookies. <laughs> now, Jack, you know. Uh, That's what these <laughs> is doing. <laughs> hey, young man. Come on over. My husband just wants to touch you for a little while on camera. I promise you, you won't feel a thing. Sniff this. <laughs> oh, heck no. <sighs> Okay, so dang, that yeah, was I, I, smell, really. Yeah, it, it, what in the world? <laughs> you stand on red carpets with the and you sell an image of lies. Then you influence the public and ask the public to covet and want your life. Who wants? Who wants that? Who jealous of that? Bunch of whack is too afraid to find a real man in real love. So you marry a get for a Birkin bag and then turn your head while he's fing a bunch of kids. Heck no. I don't feel sorry for none of you, bitch. Don't y'all sit around writing your books, telling your sob stories. He was a Going in, you should have known he was going to be a mm. You married that mm. and made babies with it. Look at Nicki Minaj. You got bitch and marrying level three sex offenders. And, 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 and do you know since then? She done moved out. Dang. She don't live at the house they was living at no more. Kenneth there by herself. She literally got him a zoo. What? And she fills it with sex who don't mind rough sex. And she lives in another house with the baby. Wow. But he's supposed to be the primary custodian which is why he ain't in jail where he's supposed to be because he got to take care of the baby. But the only thing he's taking care of is making new victims. <laughs> Who watching Papa Bear? I thought that's why he was here. <laughs> Speaking of missing children, Tasha K, where are your kids? <laughs> because word on the street is you ain't got time to raise children. We already know that girl is Sheck, baby. You ain't had that child in quite some time. And you sent little Teddy to Africa mm. with your husband, people. What? 
You a married woman and you ain't got time to raise your kids? But you want to talk about mine all day, huh? Mm. That boy is under 10 years old being raised by Africans that you don't really know. For all you know, that little boy is playing in a pile of monkey shit right now. You don't know. Wrestling with rhinos shit. You don't know. Where your kids, bitch? You busy running around trying to blackmail Kevin Hart for cheating on his wife when we all know he likes penis? What? Maybe you would have got that 250 if you would have told the truth. What, bruh? But you want to hold him to the fire over some sh you No, know ain't real. That sh ain't real. His guy, mail order Bangkok bride. While he's looking so safe, laying in the rock's arms, being cradled like a baby. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> what? Okay, um, you you want to expose that he cheated on his wife with a man that would have sold. Mm. I get no fuck about no fake. Mm. Tell us the real. You supposed to be Tasha K. You supposed to have all the wine and the wine and the wine. Tell him he's a fucking bitch. Mm. Oh, she gonna everybody so, here. Uh, Nobody I needs to smoke. Yeah. I got to take my meds. Yeah, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I, I got to ask you, Jag, real quick. 33% THC. That's, oh, yeah. my, that's my medicine. Oh, yeah, we, we're going to take, take a little break. Oh, but hold on, wait, wait, real quick, real quick. I have to ask because you mentioned sex workers. Yeah. And that word is getting thrown around a lot lately. And um, we see that 50 Cent is going at Diddy because his baby mother, I believe Daphne, uh, is uh -huh. listed in a lawsuit as a sex worker for Diddy. She'll hook up. Diddy Bop. Oh, man. She was a Diddy Bop first. Mm. He just didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, all the circles that small. You must feel stupid as sh** he sent the bitch right to you. Mm. Dang. Mm. Are, are oh, the... she didn't send the herpes. He ain't bring it, you know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't hope that uh... didn't go with That would explain why you would be a little salty, though. You know? Uh... Maybe you'd be posting on them outbreak uh, days. I don't know, allegedly. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. But the post was funny as I've been reposting. 50 been on a tear. 50 been on a tear. You yeah. know? He has reason. He has Diaper reason. rash will make cranky. <laughs> mm. One more question before you take this yeah. break. Um, can you name some people in the Hollywood or the industry that are oh. that are upstanding that you'd be like, there's no smut on their name. They were just good people. Yeah. Can you just give us a couple people? I have. Terry Lynn Carrington. Okay. My very good friend who's worked with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis for many years, Don Clemens. <laughs> hmm. The Baylors. Gene. And Marcus Baylor, Gene from Jean A. Uh -huh. There are lots of people. I just don't like talking about them all the time. My girlfriend, Natalie Stewart in London, right. her and her husband Maddox, exemplary artists and people. I mean, I, I could give you a list, but you know what happens when I start talking about them? People start stalking them and hounding them right. and pressuring them, which is why my online life and my real life are absolutely separate. Right. Want to know what happens when that doesn't happen? When I don't protect people? My girlfriend gets called and said that I need to, she need to keep me away from her family because I, I'm a, I'm marked for death and I'm gonna get her family killed and I'm a piece of I used to f husband while I was living at a house even though I don't know the he never met the bitch. Mm. Yeah. Or the guy that I'm dating, his entire criminal record and prison record gets put up and I didn't know nothing about it because these net trolls are that. 
relentless. Best example, the last time I was here, you asked me about artists to watch out for. Correct. And there was one that I mentioned that I, uh, I kind of downplayed. Church is church. Oh, she said, don't give it too much. Uh, that's, uh, what's the name? Um, uh, Jay French. Jay French. My church. gosh. My the God. mixtape. That's out now. It debuted a month ago. Number two on the iTunes rap charts worldwide. Only beaten by Kanye West. Independent. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go, Jay French, man. If you don't know, y'all ain't on game. Which brings me to my next question real yeah. quick before we... Uh, 50 Years of Hip Hop. Do you feel that it was done justice as far as uh, no, the acknowledgement of the 50 years? Nowhere near it. When you look at the redacted list of greatness in hip hop, people should have been acknowledged for what they were at the time they passed yeah, on the facts. list. Facts. Mm -hmm. Honestly, everyone that passed is the list. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Big L. The list. <laughs> Come on. Tori, Tupac. Tupac. The list. Biggie Smalls. The list. Yeah. Take Off. <laughs> the list. No. Pop Smoke. The list. Man. King Von. The list. Oof. Like... No, no, you, the, 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 these greats, yeah, Mo three, the, the, these you can greats. Pick twenty of the last mother died in the last twenty years, and that's the best of hip hop. True, true. Gone. Think about it. The ones gone do got a lot Think of talent, it. man. That's funny. Lying mother. <laughs> and if you remember, before I started being arrested and stuck in the net and stuck in my ass with how doll and. Philadelphia's main aim was to expose the actual true list. Very true. For the 50th anniversary. Without question. And yet, my company was torpedoed and footage scattered, gone to the wind. I'm jailed, hospitalized, and people trying to get me to say that I'm schizophrenic. It's there right there. We're gonna we're gonna talk about the episode, but for right now, I just gotta get your take on when we see a killer Mike win three Grammys and get arrested immediately <laughs> after because Jay Z paid somebody <laughs> up just so he couldn't have a good night. Wow. You Sean. Hey man. Weirdo. Oof. I don't get no what you got in your head that neural link. You'll never outthink me. Ever. All I do is frustrate your fucking AI. Mm. Mm. You can't quantify me. You can't even control your wife. Damn. You gonna handle a bitch like me. You can't even control that goofy bitch. Yeah, she you should have did a better job. Maybe she wouldn't have had to lose her mind on Kathy. Because you ain't protecting you. You're protecting her. Wonder why. That's a good break. <laughs> That's a good break. We're going to break right there. Damn, bro. I can't believe the stuff she said about Will Smith. I don't know. They been saying Beyonce. You know, evil and stuff. <laughs> but, hey, but yeah, nah, that Will Smith allegation, allegedly, whatever, it was crazy. His own son, like, and Jada just, like, letting it happen. I don't know, bro. I don't like hearing stuff like that, bro. That's a little sad situation, man. Sheesh, man. But, um, I don't know, man. I feel like there's some there, there's a lot of truth for what she say. I don't know why I just my 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 spirit or my common sense or I don't know. I just believe her. Like I don't know. Like 
You know what I'm saying? I I know how to read body language. I know how to read, but you know what I'm saying. Some some of that stuff she talk with passion. You feel me? <coughs> you know what I'm saying? I know some of it is her point of view. You know what I'm saying? Her, her opinion, her point of view, how she feel on somebody. But at the end of the day, I feel like some of it's real, bro. Uh, comment down below how you feel. Uh, it's your boy Kevin, man. And I'll see you in the next one. Appreciate it for watching and with me.